Welcome, welcome. This is Adrian, your quantum love coach. I want to dive right in into um, communicating my message about quantum love and how to manifest the love life you absolutely desire and deserve. I guess, you know, there's so much out there to learn about love and um, what we always feel a little bit um, you know, insecure about is really, really being honest about our needs when it comes to that. And I think the best way to communicate to yourself what love actually means is to first of all discover what's already there you love. You know, often when we are in connections with others and um, not just in intimate relationships, but also in connections with those who are really close to us. This can be even in childhood and in youth, our parents or grandparents or siblings or um, school friends or even teachers who we actually respect and adore for what they're contributing to our evolution. But um, it's often very difficult to voice what is the ultimate um you know desire we have to to be in connection with others around us and with those um, aspects in ourselves so i um you know suggest something very simple that you um write a journal start actually your quantum love journey with something as simple as a little book like this and it can be from a stationery shop nothing specifically expensive um, like a school book or a diary and um, have a magic pen and every morning and every night um, take a little bit of time and just dive into the vibration of love and creation so the first thing you really want to focus on what is it you love in your life and what is it you love i love i love i love and it's like you know many of us have for years explored um, the power of gratitude journals saying thank you for i'm grateful for i'm grateful for and yes there's a power of gratitude that is hugely um you know um you know all all embracing i guess because it is a, a, a huge power when we recognize what we are grateful for but the realization of what we actually love is another dimension altogether where we really tap into these spaces where very often we are not giving each other permission to really really say this is what i love you know um you know even just i love um, to drink a glass of wine tonight or I love to see this movie or I love to walk um, through a rose garden and smell the roses and often it's not the things we give ourselves so much permission for um, to experience on an ordinary day. So yeah, I think my first message to you to create a quantum love life is to um, invoke that energetic field of love in acknowledging that love exists and the way to do that is to write at least one full page i would say seven to ten things you love and seven to th ten things you might wish to create for yourself in your life um, at any given time but do it at least once if you can twice a day and um, if morning or night is not a good time but a lunch break or your hour of power sitting in a bus or um, underground train or and an aeroplane flying and traveling to places then use that time to be very very um, internal and insightful about what's really going on in your life so have fun with this and um, wishing you a fantastic day of quantum love